Hello everybody, so today I will talk about geometry. The question is from RCQ Philippines. So now I will show you the answer. We have quadrilateral ABCD is inscribed in the circle XY plus Y square equals to number 25 given that ABC at what point is the located should that the area of ABCD is 40 square units. So now I will show you the answer. First, we need to draw the diagram in here. So we have S, Y, and we have the circle. So the circle in here is about at the center and the radius is about number 5 because this is about 5 square. So we have number 5, negative number 5, positive number 5, and negative number 5. Now we have the point A, negative number 4. The point B. That should be about number 3. S is about number 3. And we have number 4 in here. And the last one, C, that's it in here. So we connect A and B. AC and BC Now we need to find vector AC So we have 0 minus minus number 4 you got about positive number 4 negative number 5 minus number 3 you got about negative number 8 so the length of AC in here that should be about the square root of 4 square plus negative number 8 square That's e e 4 multiplied with the square root of number 5. And now we need to find AC in here. The normal of AC is about 8, 4. So I will choose about both C in here. That is 0, negative number 5. So we have the formula of the lead of the line in here. AS plus BC or BY sorry plus C that's e equal to number zero. So we have number eight in here, number four in here, S that's E about number zero y is about negative number 5 this one you got about negative number 20 so we can find the value of c that's the about 20 so we got about a s minus 4 y plus 20 that's e equal to number 0 so we got about 4 s 
minus y plus 5 equal to number 0 in here. Now we go to a b so we have three minus ne negative number four you got about seven four minus three is about one so the land of a b in here we got about the square root of 7 square plus 1 square that's e about 5 multiplied with the square root of number 2 so we have the normal vector AB that should be about negative number 1 7 so we have negative x plus 7y and we have c in here so i will choose point a point a is about negative number four y is about number three we input in here and we got about c equals to negative number 25 so we change we need to change c into negative number 25 now we go to the last one that's about bc So we have 0 minus 3, you got about negative number 3, negative number 5 minus number 4, you got about negative number 9. So we have the length of BC. I just ignore about the negative side because the square you got about the positive. So we got about 3 multiplied with the square root of number 10. So we have the normal vector BC. That should be about 9 negative number 3. So we have 9x minus 3y plus c. That's e equal to number 0. So we have we have C in here, so I choose about C. So we put number 0 go in here. Negative number 5 go in here. And we got about C equal to negative number 15. So we change C into negative number 15. So we simplify number 3. Next, we have A, B, B, C, and A, C in here. A, C, A, B, and B, C in here. We can find the area of A, B, C. We can do about theorem. Theorem. So, I will put about B equals to A plus B plus C over number 2 
So I will put like that and we have the area of this triangle ABC that should be about the square root of B and we have B multiplied with B minus A B minus B and we have B minus C and you got about 30 so in this situation we have 40 in here so we need to more than 10 square units so we know that if we consider about the core AP we have AB is about 5 multiplied with the square root of number 2 and we need to know that we have the base multiplied with the height divided by 2 and we need to number 10 in here so the base is about AB let's see about 5 multiplied with the square root of number 2 So the high we can calculate in here, that's is about 2 multiplied with the square root of number 2. However, from the central to AB in here, we have 0, 0 in here. So we have the distance between the origin to AB. So about AP, we just have about negative S plus 7Y minus 25. So we have the absolute value negative number 0, negative number 7, multiplied with number 0, a positive number, positive number 7, multiplied with number 0, and we have negative number 25. over the square root of negative number 1 square plus 7 square and we got about 5 multiplied with the square root of number 2 over 2 so from point 0 to AP the distance is about this one However, the radius of the circle is about 5. That means the highest length to AP, that's e about, we call it about maximum 5 minus 5 multiplied with the square root of number 2 over 2 is about 1.46. However, this is smaller than 2 multiplied with the square root of number 2. So that means we don't have 4D from the AP in here. Now, let's go to the next one. That's e about AC. AC, we just got about 4 multiplied with the square root of number 5. So the high we need to find in here. That should be about the square root of number 5. Now the distance from 0 to AC, we just do, do the same technique. And you will got about number 5 inside the 
the absolute value and we have the square root for square plus negative number one square and we got about one point two or maybe we can write about this way five multiply with the square root of number seventy over seventy so we have the square root of number five we compare to this one and that should be we need to compare and this is approximately about Three point seven eight. The square root of number five is about two point two. That means we have two point D in this area in here because the highest of the height is about this one. So we have the formula of the distance. We have s square plus y square is equal to number 25. So we have y e equals to the positive and negative, the, the square root of 25 minus s square. So we need to find the point s. Later that we can find the point y in here. So we have the distance of boy D to AC and we have the absolute value we have for S minus Y plus 5 so we have for S plus the square root of 25 minus s square or negative we go to the positive first later that we go to the negative plus 5 over the square root of 4 square plus negative number 1 square and that is equal to the square root of number 5. So we can find the value of S in here. That is about 1 over 17 multiplied with the square root of number 5 multiplied with number 63 minus Two multiply with the square root of eighty five. Negative number twenty. Negative number four. Multiply with the square root of eighty five. So we have y in here. We put about 25 minus s square. We put about s go in here. So we can find the value of y. This is about d number 1. Now we go to d number 2. This one we just change for negative into the positive because 
we have this one negative sign here but on this equation we have the negative in here that's why we need to change the sign into the positive in here and we calculate this one we got about s equals to that should be about 1 over 70 multiplied with the negative the square root of 5 multiplied with 63 minus number 2 multiplied with the square root of 85 minus number 20 minus 4 multiplied with the square root of 85 so we have y that's e equals to negative the square root of 25 minus s square so we put the value of s go in here so this is for d number 2 now let's go find for d number 3 and d number 4 so we have bc bc that should be about 3 multiplied with the square root of number 10 so we can find the height in here that should be about 2 multiplied with the square root of number 10 over 3 now we need to compare the distance we need to find the distance from 0 to BC BC we got about here and we got about 15 over the square root of uh, number 5 sorry We have 3 square and negative number 1 square. And this one equals to the square root of number 10 over number 2. So we have the height in here and we have 5 minus the square root of number 10 over number 2 that's the approximate about 3.419 this one approximate about 2108 that means this one is smaller than this one so we have two point this in here so we can find for the number 3 and for the number 4. We do the same technique. So we have D, D, 2, B, B, C. B, C we have 3 and negative number one so we have three s minus the square root of 25 minus s square and we have negative number five we have the square root of three square plus one square and that's it equals to the height of this one we need to find in here so we can find the value of s we got about s equal to number four and we have y equal to the square root of 25 minus s square we put number 4 in here 
and we go about y equals number 3 now let's do for the negative side so we can find the value of s we got about 7 over 5 and we can find the value of y that's about negative 25 minus s square and we got about negative number 24 over 5 and that's it, the answer for everything this is the end thank you for watching